Okay, so I mentioned that that uh, hydrogen is uh, eight hertz. So the, the, nu the nuclear magnetic resonance is eight hertz, and that we are living in an eight hertz universe. And so they, there was uh, this this guy. What was the name? I wrote it up here. Doctor Doctor Puha Puharich, Doctor Puharich, he did some uh, some um, experiments on eight hertz, and he created uh, a vacuum chamber, a Faraday cage vacuum chamber. Uh, I think it was three layers thick. And, and so shielding out all cosmic radiation, all any, any interferences, anything, he shielded out all of it. And then they measured inside. And the only thing that just went straight through was uh, hydrogen 8 hertz. So, so he found out that hydrogen 8 hertz is actually moving in and out of existence of that, like in and out of several dimensions. So it's a multi-dimensional molecule. It is it is in the third dimension, but it's also in other dimensions, and it's it's um, it's leaving this dimension at certain points in time, and that's how it could move through a vacuum chamber with great ease because it's there and then it's not here. It's here and then it's so in and out, and and um. It reminds me very much of just like a monatomic elements, like if you look at white powder gold, etc. Uh, this is something uh, I don't have time to go into right now, but uh, monatomic elements actually also move in and out of existence the same way the hydrogen is doing. So there's something, there's a connection there. But anyway, he was, um, he found this eight hertz frequency inside his uh, vacuum chamber. and um, and also, what he found out is so. This is from the that's, this is from the Hart Math Institute. So the Hart Math Institute, they actually uh, measured meditating monks going into a state of compassionate love. And now this is this here here. This is basically okay. I'm gonna be talking. This is maybe the most important piece of information, or, or the most important topic. The whole day today okay uh, this is kind of if you get this one you will understand why you should be excited about hydrogen so the heart math institute sat down with meditators experienced monks who who has been meditating their whole life and when they went inside a meditative state feeling a state of compassionate love unconditional love they were measuring the ekg in the heart they were measuring the frequency the magnetic uh, resonances coming out from the heart and it was always peaking at eight hertz so when they're in a state of compassionate love it is peaking with eight hertz and this information by the way is coming from ananda bosman and if you want to read uh, in great detail about this uh, find, get his book uh, All Is God. Okay, it's in there. It's amazing stuff. So the Heart Math Institute found out that in a state of compassion and love, you're emitting the eight hertz frequency. They also so so this uh, Dr. Puharish, he actually um, tested shamans and healers from all over the world, all kinds of religions and traditions, and he tested them. And measured uh, the energy coming out of their hands, uh, the healers' hands, and the real healers, the ones who actually could create uh, healing experiences in other people. The hands were always emitting eight hertz on the whole planet across all cultures, eight hertz. And he said the reason that they could create the the actual results in the person wasn't because of their own eight hertz, but because they were able to create some kind of synchronicity entrainment with the patient. So the patient went into an eight hertz state themselves during the healing uh, session. And because they could make the patient go into this healing state of eight hertz themselves, because of that, the patient basically healed themselves. 
with the help of the of the healer, with the help of the shaman, because the shaman helped them to enter that state. But only when the patient entered the state, that's when the healing really happened. So basically, you don't need the healer if you know how to do it yourself. They also found out that eight hertz in the brain is uh, alpha waves. And when you're in a state of eight hertz uh, alpha wave, when the brain is firing in alpha wave, you're actually having both halves working simultaneously in unison. They're co co communicating together. So now you're in an alpha state, eight hertz, compassionate love. And uh, in alpha state, you have maximum creativity. You have lots of inspiration. And this is the state you go in when you're meditating. And so also they found out, and this is crazy, they found out, that when DNA heals itself, repairs itself, it can only do it in 8 hertz frequency. So only in a state of compassionate love is the DNA able to heal itself. That should give you another hint on why meditation is a good idea to do, even just for health. So they also found out that um, the the eight hertz frequency compassionate love these so there's some detailed um clinical trials that was done in the heart math institute and and Andrew Bosman talks about it in great detail and um if you want to know more uh, the details go in and check out his book however uh, just to give you a recap a highlights of it he they found out that these uh monks if they took a DNA, a piece of DNA, and put too much hot water on it, and it, it basically uncoiled itself and died. It was dead. These monks uh, sat down and meditated in a state of 8 hertz compassionate love. The DNA coiled back up and came back to life. And it was only in a state of compassionate love, 8 hertz, that the DNA will react like this. Any other state, any other frequency wouldn't happen. They also found out that these monks, and this, it was not just these monks, but it was like a general thing. If, if you could enter a state of, of the 8 hertz compassion love, they could influence the DNA to uncoil or coil and also make changes in its core at the same time. All three things at the same time beyond time and space. And so in a state, so in, in, in Ananda Bosman's book, he's mentioning um, only in a state of compassionate love do humans have a genetic free will. So genetic free will, meaning you can only influence your own biology in a state of compassionate love. What are we seeing in the world today with the COVID-19, with the fear? Fear is in the lungs. This, the, the emotion fear sits in the lungs. And you will, when you are in fear, you have no genetic free will. Do you think that's a coincidence? That's not a coincidence. When you go out in the sun, you're connecting with the organic photonic cosmic frequencies of, of the cosmic light of the 8 hertz frequency, the hydrogen, the message of hydrogen, the, the, the love, the unconditional love of the universe in the sun. And we're being told to wear masks and stay indoors. Do you think that is a coincidence. So uh, there's a lot of uh, things we can ask ourselves. But this is the biggest piece of information I can give you, which is the 8 hertz is, is so is being in a state of compassion and love is the only state where you are taking charge of your, of your own genetic expression in your own body. And you can heal your DNA. And hydrogen, you, there's no chemical 
process in the body that is that is able to happen without hydrogen all all processes in the body demands hydrogen and so if you are tuning into a compassion state of of uh, compassion love uh, unconditional love of 8 hertz you are now in charge of your own life so this should be like mind blowing um this is crazy information in if you like it this kept me awake for many nights and i was just like tripping on this and and i was thinking the world needs to know this the the world needs to understand the the link between hydrogen and people's free will genetic expression in, in their own body and free will on planet earth so Humanity wants to get off their knees and access the charts of our own lives and, and stop these uh, crimes against humanity that is happening right now. Well, now you know. First, you need to empower yourself. How do you empower yourself? By understanding the hydrogen 8 hertz, compassion, love, genetic, free will. This is where it all begins. This is how it all begins. Okay? So, um, I have a lot more here uh, coming, but I'll take uh, questions. So uh, I'll just see if there's any. Um, uh, the question for tomorrow, probably ever heard of H2 Life Tech Inhaler Machine. Uh, yes, I have heard of that, but we'll talk about that tomorrow. <clears throat> um, <laughs> so all this thing with equipment and and the hydrogen inhalation and drinking hydrogen all that stuff and also hydrogen pills um and how do you how do you tap into hydrogen if you're on a budget all these things all that stuff we're going to talk about tomorrow it's not gonna today i want you to understand why you should why you should care about get tapping into hydrogen today it's all about hydrogen in itself and, and so we need to understand the importance of hydrogen um and only if you write with big letters i will read it uh, so hydrogen is more powerful than ozone uh it's two very different things it's kind of like asking me is is apples better than bananas and i will say it depends so ozone is extremely good at killing stuff. Uh, ozone therapy, IV, and enemas. Uh, I've done. I've done. I've done some powerful. Oh, it actually saved my arm when I when I had infection in my arm. Ozone saved my arm, and so I love ozone. Ozone is amazing, but it's completely different. Like it's it's just a it's it's an oxidizer. It's a it's oxygen. Uh, it's a form of oxygen. So it's very different does drinking hydrogenated water create eight hertz in our body uh it's definitely supporting the process but the thing is if you have followed me for the past many years you will know that i always sit and and send my prayers and love and compassion into my water before i drink it so water has memory and now uh we're going to talk about how, um, why more water has memory, and does water have memory because of the hydrogen or the oxygen? So we're going to be looking into that, but this is going to be a, another big, that will be another big um, uh, Pandora's box opening up, uh, and I think we're going to take questions now, then we're going to take a break, and then I'm going to go in and do the Pandora's box. Uh, so... Okay, I see a lot of hydrogen peroxide IV therapy in my area. Is it the same thing you talked about? Nope. Hydrogen peroxide is a is an oxidizer uh, as well. So it's it's different. Um, I heard good things about it. I can tell you, Patrick Flanagan want me against it. Uh, he said it is. It is oxidizing in an out-of-control way that is uh, 
creating, it can help, but it can also create damages, problems in the body. That's what he said. And I trust the guy. And so that's all I have to say. Uh, I take three drops of food grade hydrogen peroxide a day, read, read it in a book. Good. I mean, and I, I, I met many people who swear by it. So I'm not, I'm just telling you what Patrick said. If the monks can create eight hertz through meditation, why take hydrogen supplements if you can reach the state through meditation? Is it a tool to reach this state more easily through meditation? See, Suan Armstrong, you are hitting the nail on the head. We don't need hydrogen machines. We don't need hydrogen water. We don't need hydrogen capsules. We don't need any of it if you actually enter into a state of compassionate love 24-7 in your life. And so I know very few people who can do that. And so um, it is, and I'm not saying that you're going, so we will go in and talk about uh, EMF radiation and the eight Hertz, because it turns out that if you're in a state of compassionate love, just the feeling, you don't even drink hydrogen or, or inhale, just the feeling of compassion and love, that alone will protect you against EMF radiation. And um, I will, um, uh, so basically, when you, okay, so we can take this now before the break. When you go into a sta alpha state, um, when your brain is in, train in, an, in entrainment in eight hertz alpha state, you're actually protecting your DNA from any harm, from any EMF radiation, because your consciousness is more powerful than any 5G antennas out there. So this is the truth. So you don't need any other things from outside. You don't need help. You don't need machines. You don't need any tablets or anything. However, personally, I like to just do all of it. Like I want to cultivate the compassion love as much as possible within myself and know that in that state, all is well. My DNA is healing itself. It's, it's uh, coming back to its original nature if it's been modified in any way and all that stuff. However, I also don't mind playing, going outside and play with some of these tools. And, and uh, I think we need to live um, a golden middle path kind of world where we, we, we apply many, all of the things together combined, it's going to create a better outcome. That's, that's how I see it. So did you know that your brain, if you sit in a natural setting, in a, in a natural state, you, let's say you're sitting out in your garden reading a book in a, in a natural environment, what happens is, regardless of what you're occupied doing, reading a book, having a conversation, whatever you're doing, your brain dips into alpha state, boom, every 30 seconds, just for a little quick, a little visit. Every 30 seconds, your brain goes in and visits the alpha state of eight hertz, eight cycles per second. Why does it do that? It do that because it is crucial, it's important, it is, it is essential for humanity to do this in their brains. Why? Because every time we dip into this alpha state, uh, alpha state yeah, of eight hertz, we are connecting to the cosmic neural network of, of, the, of the, the, the universal consciousness. So we are tapping into the mainframe every 30 seconds. We just visit in and take our little beyond time and space holiday in our brain into this field of consciousness. This is huge. It should tell you that this 8 hertz is not a joke. We really need to uh, pay attention to this. And guess what can stop you, your brain, from doing this every 30 seconds? Sitting in front of computer screens. Wi-Fi, mobile phones, radiation, 5G, smartphones, screens, because these screens are emitting uh, very different uh, erratic hertz frequencies. And because it's light, it's a light frequency hitting you, 
it overrides the brain and you do not visit the cosmic intelligence every 30 seconds. Have you noticed that the more time you spend in front of the computer, the more original thinking and independent thinking is disappearing? You, you do not have um, those peaceful moments of inspiration and uh, things coming out of nowhere and just like these insights in the house that doesn't happen as much in front of a computer as it does if you sit in nature. The reason for that is because when you sit in nature, your brain starts sink, sinking back to its original state and it starts, it starts connecting with the cosmic neural link, uh, neural network, the cosmic network, our origins, our, our, our home, primordial home in consciousness. So this is another reason why you should be very, very careful with technology. And I have, there's another one I'm going to talk about later, but um, yes, you don't have to, um, you don't have to spend money on technology for, with hydrogen, but in my, in my estimation, it's a good idea if you can to tap into this stuff because we have already been starved like crazy as a species on this planet from the eight Hertz frequency experiences. Very few people are experiencing compassionate love, like actual true compassionate love on a daily basis. Very few people are having an absolute um, zero point state of compassionate love um, emitting from their hearts on a daily basis. We, we can feel love for, for our spouses and, and et cetera, but this, this unconditional compassion love is a different form of love. It's not just this emotional, I love you story. It's a different level of, of, of loving. And so it's, an, it's another level of tapping into the eight hertz frequency. Okay, so I will be um, trying again to finish these, the chats, and then we're gonna take a break. Uh, why does the medicine advise inhaling oxygen against COVID? Well, because people are dying from, um, they don't have enough oxygen in their system, so they are, but they're putting them on these ventilators, which is killing people. And so what, what they found out is if you're, if you're combining oxygen with hydrogen, it actually starts working. So oxygen alone is not helping a COVID-19 patient, but hydrogen and, and, and oxygen together, because hydrogen takes the cytokine storm and, and shuts it down, which is what kills people, the, an overreactive immune system, and the hydrogen balances it out. And so hydrogen is just pure love. So hydrogen is love. Okay, let's take this one. My theory of why is it good for 176 different kinds of diseases and counting, and why is hydrogen, so hydrogen is supposed to be an inert molecule that doesn't really react to things in your system. It, it switches on genes and switches off others, all for the better for you. It, it just uh, does everything better. It just makes the body better across the board with everything. And science, are, I like, they're watching the effects, but they don't understand why it's happening. My theory is it's because this little molecule is compassionate love embodiment. It's compassionate love in form. The first material expression in the universe, the first manifestation in the universe came in the form of hydrogen. It's the smallest atom in the periodic table of elements, it's the smallest. And of all the elements, it's the only element that has a perfect spin. All the other elements are having this wobble, just like the Earth, planet Earth has a wobble. All other elements have this wobble. The only one that has a perfect spin in perfect balance is hydrogen, and it's the number one. This is from uh, Santos Bonacci, he, he mentioned this. When he said that, I was just like, are you kidding me? I mean, this is all these signs that hydrogen is very special. It's the first that came into being in the Big Bang. So 
when you bring this into your system, you're basically taking the embodiment, the physical expression of compassionate love and put it inside your body. No wonder good stuff is going to happen. And compassionate love is also very respectful, respects you in such a way that it's not going to just override your system and fix you in a way that it feels it, you will need to and you will have a massive healing crisis and fall apart and some people can't handle it and you can overdose and die from it. No, it's very subtle. It's very subtle, gentle, just moving you in the right. It's like this is where we want to go. Like a loving mother. It's a feminine, it's a feminine molecule. So it's, 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 the, it's the Shakti. Loving Shakti, mother energy, taking you slowly, gently towards life, more life, right? And that expresses itself in, in uh, diabetics, uh, suddenly are not diabetics, and uh, the, the big C disease, the big C, the one that actually kills lots of people, uh, not the pandemic, but uh, the other C, that one, a lot of people are having good results with that. There's a lot of lot of things, and like 176. I, I'm not even going to go through them because it's 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 crazy. It's just love. You are ingesting love. You just take love in, and what happens when love comes in? So you can do this in two ways. You can do it in the meditations, practicing compassionate love. You repair your DNA. You're, you're, you're healing yourself. And then you can ingest also the physical manifestation of it at the same time. And so, up to you. I like to do both, but you can do just one if you want. And, uh, I, and if you only have to do one, I would suggest you do the meditation because that's the, uh, that's the easiest, that will cost you no money to do. And, all, and you will get so many benefits. It's crazy, right? So, um, but good question. Um, so we can use 8 hertz CD music. And so I think music sound, um, so 8 hertz sound, you cannot hear 8 hertz. 8 hertz is too low for you to hear, but I think you can feel it. And so if you can, if you can somehow get the sound frequency expressed, I have something called a quantum star that I actually can do it with. I'll, I'll pull it out. After the, after the break, I'll show it to you guys. Um, but I, again, I'm personally uh, apprehensive. I, I, I'm, I'm not excited about machine 8 hertz. Uh, I want 8 hertz, uh, 8 hertz through consciousness or 8 hertz through a living molecule. These are the two ways I want to do it. And so, but I, I think, I'm pretty sure you can do 8 hertz music. Um, uh, so I only read things written with, if the whole thing is written with big letters, then I read it. Uh, wouldn't the best scenario be to sit in nature, in the sun and meditate? Yes, absolutely. That's it. Uh, go to the beach, ground yourself, get in the water. Sun gaze, take it, bring your friends, laugh, have fun, throw some water in each other's faces, and uh, and then after that, sit and meditate and uh, in in eight hertz compassion and love, and and you're set, you're set. That's it. 